truckload capacity. It isn't just the volumes, it's also the type that's important. I'm not talking about reefer or dry van versus flatbed, although they are independent of each other for the most part. Kind of. It's complicated. For now, I'm talking about the great exodus of truckload capacity. We're not. Not arguing that capacity is not leaving the market. It is, for certain. It's also changing hands. That is very important. A better way to look at it is insurance and registrations. The collapse of 2009 actually happened in 07 and 08. Registered Class 8 trucks were 1.981 million in 2007. And by 2009, they were down to 1.819 according to the Bureau of Transportation Statistics. That's a decline of 8%. The statistics also say that the height of the freight bubble during the pandemic was 3.3 million registrations, which was a jump from 2019 of 20%. According to truckinfo.net, the number of authorities grew from 253,000 in 2019 to a height of 383,000 in 2022, a jump of 51.38%. In other words, MC numbers do not equal capacity. It indicates the environment for someone wanting to go into business for themselves or not. From December 22, the high, to June 23, the number of fleets or authorities dropped 11,000, or 2.87%. And registered Class 8 vehicles dropped from 3.3 million, the high, to 2.97 million, or a drop of 10%. Summary, fleets don't equal capacity. The trend right now is that fleets are dropping at 2.8% and truck registrations at 10%. This means it isn't the OOs that are being absorbed into fleets. It's the fleets dropping capacity and OOs being buoyed to a degree by the 3PLs and the many years of building trust in the smaller carrier via the broker. The dynamics of this type of capacity shift has much different impacts and pressures on rates during the downturn and much different than 0809, but more on that later.